Hi, and welcome to the CDD tutorial about the ELM. We're going to talk about how to create an entry, how to add attachments, files, images, etc. And then continuing on to adding registration of molecules and protocol data, biological data and whatnot. And finally, show how the cross communication in the ELN and the vault works together with these molecules or the protocol data. First things first, you will notice you have an ELN menu entry option up here now. This is where you open the ELN. Next, you have to remember that the ELN is project specific, just like molecules and protocols are. So currently this one project X alpha and omega is deselected and we see no entries. But if I select it, you will see in this case one entry. Now let's create a new ELN entry. For this, go to create a new ELN entry. Select the project this entry is supposed to belong to. Even if a project might be deselected, you will see all your available projects listed. Now you can start entering your title, filling out your meta fields if you like, and start typing away. Now let's have a quick look at the symbols up here. First of all, you have this padlock that means finalize or lock an entry so you cannot edit it anymore. Next we have duplicate, very handy if you want to do templates or just simply copy uh, the exact details for the next experiment. Then we have export files. So if you have any file attachments within your entry, these can be exported. And finally, you can print or save as into paper copies or PDFs for storage externally. Now, other than the typical formatting options of bold or italics or making bullet points, there are several ways you can attach data to this ELN entry. One pretty obvious way is to use the paperclip for insert attachments, where you get to select the file where you can attach any type of file, be it an Excel file, PDF file, a molecule file, etc. And of course, you can drag and drop from your file system whenever you like to. Images and PDFs are in addition rendered as images into the system. Now, to get a table into your system, you use this icon insert table, choose the size of your table, and then you fill it out just like you would be used to in Word or Excel. Alternatively, if you have a table in Excel, you can choose that and copy paste it directly into your ELN entry. Now let's get some molecules into our entry. You can do this by using this insert molecule up here, which opens Marvin.js, and you can draw your compound. This will then be rendered as a chemically aware structure. And you can see that by this code that is generated underneath, stemming from this particular vault where the structure has been registered before. So there is cross communication between the ELN and the vault. You can also go so far to register this compound directly from here as a new entry. But let's first check the entry that exists. If we click on here and open it, for example, a new tab, we can see this compound exists as one batch. Now going back, click on register and see what happens. You'll come out to this form where you can fill out a new batch. If this were a completely new molecule, it would be the registration for a single new compound. Now let's add this batch and see what happens. Now we can see it's two batches and next to the 002, there's a link to the ELN, what, how to insert the ELN entry that we are currently working on. And if we go back to this, it is a direct hyperlink. We scroll down and there's our compound. Now we can see it with the code 3505002, meaning the second batch of this compound being registered. Now you could also import multiple molecules at once, for example, via an SDF file and go directly to the import file wizard, the three-step wizard that you normally would import multiple molecules or other biological data from. As an intermezzo, here just to show the drag and drop that I've mentioned earlier, for example, this Excel file, which gets rendered into a small thumbnail, or this PNG file, an image file, which drag and drop, and we get the image of it. As the last thing in this tutorial video, let's get some biological data into this vault. I attach now a CSV file, and as you can see, the thumbnail gets rendered, and we have the import file option. This will allow us, yet again, cross-communication between the ELN and the vault. 
So let's import this file as readouts data, protocol data only, and go through the ma typical mapping process, assigning it to a run. For details, please see our other videos and our knowledge base. Now we commit the data. And once we've committed the data and we have our report, let's go to the report date of this particular run. Go to run details. We scroll down a little bit if necessary, and then we will see linked ELN entries, in this case to the what, how to insert the title of our ELN entry. Looking at that ELN entry, we go down now to the thumbnail of the inhibition data CSV, and now we see a explore imported data hyperlink. If we click on this, this will lead us then again back to the table view, the search view of this imported data. Last but not least, I'd like to mention if we go back to this run, there is a create ELN entry under the data of an imported run. So if you go the opposite way, importing some data from the file slurper, you can create an ELN entry from this point and therefore have a connection between the ELN and your data that is imported. More on the ELN in our next video. Bye-bye.